And now it's time for something a little bit somewhat kind of sort of different, I guess, I suppose, I don't know. Anyways, the game is familiar enough to most of you. It's the classic puzzle game Tetris. It's a game that pretty much everybody should be familiar with, and if you're not familiar with the game of Tetris, I, 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 I bring up a clever quip, but I can't think of any at the moment. I'm way too tired. Anyways, uh, the name of this video is Fun with Cable Box Tetris, and that should tell you everything you need to know about the game we're looking at here. This is Tetris as interpreted on a TV receiver cable box sort of thing. And, uh, yeah. Kind of an interesting little version of Tetris. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? It's kind of funny, though. This, the footage you're actually looking at was taken from, was actually recorded about three or four years ago, if I go by the, you know, how far back it's in the archives. Because the one thing that I probably might have mentioned once or twice, maybe not, is that I keep an archive of game footage. Whenever I play a game or whatever, I record it onto DVD-R. You know, everything that I record, that whenever I play a game, I record it onto DVD-R. And that's every game that I've played, even some of the PC stuff on my old system before I updated to the new system and I have forced myself to use the PVR thing but every time I play a video game I hook up to a console or whatever I record my gameplay progress to DVD and I found this one disc that was labeled Cable Box Tetris and uh, I checked it out this is the footage you're looking at I decided hey it might make for an interesting little video at least something somewhat unique. But then again, probably not because it's Tetris. It's a game most of you are is probably familiar with. But probably not in a format that's widely familiar. It's kind of different. An oddball little oddball thing, more or less. So yeah, uh, I think it was about a couple years ago we used to have this cable box television receiver sort of thing. Uh, didn't really work all that well when it came to watching TV or anything. I don't get, I don't recall what the peculiar was. I don't know if it was like a satellite receiver or just a cable or just a regular run in the middle cable box with a couple extra features here and there. Uh, I don't really recall. It's been a long time, but I do remember it had a couple built in games. Tetris was one of them. It also had some like block pushing game and Sudoku. So that's why I figure like three, four years ago, this footage came from. Uh, that's about it, really. That's about all that comes to mind. So we're looking at like the the one thing I'll tell you right off the bat. It, it this it's a very yeah managed name uh, managed a game of Tetris. It's a fairly rudimentary game of Tetris. Very. Uh, you only have like one button to rotate and one button you know you, you you move you can move left you could move right and you could rotate and obviously you could you know do a soft drop you can't hard drop which is like slam the piece into place so so it's a very rudimentary tetris but it's kind of hard to get the controls down because trying to control things with a television remote uh, you have like a really stiff feeling like the controls are really really stiff when it comes to moving the pieces around because you don't have that kind of precision control or whatever the case may be it's just really stiff and laggy and that sort of thing so there's a couple occasions here and there where I'm trying to fit a particular piece into place and I don't quite make it and that's just the way it is. It's like the controls are kind of slobby. But I seem to be doing well for the most part. 
But uh, yeah, that brings back so many memories. Cable box Tetris, I labeled it as. I I don't know. It's been a while. Like, <sighs> really, really been a while. Excuse me. Kind of tired, but um, yeah. So uh, it's a basic game of Tetris. You know, whole idea behind Tetris for anybody who's never played the damn thing. Blocks fall from the sky. You have to put them in place, and you clear them away by filling up lines of blocks, and they disappear. And you got to do this without topping off the well, because once it's topped out, the game is over and stuff. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. It's a simple game of Tetris. It's not a, like I said, it's a pr fairly rudimentary version of Tetris. Uh, the graphics, as you can probably tell, is fairly simple stuff. There's no music, there's no sound effects of any kind, not even bleeps and beeps. You know, everything's nice and silent, and um, really, that's all there is to it. You know, it's a I thought it was a nice little addition, though, for, or, like, I don't think it'd be a big selling point. Because, you know, with a cable box, the whole point of a cable box is to watch television. I don't think you're going to get it for all the game functions. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna get a cable box so you can check out what games are built into the damn thing. You're gonna watch. You're gonna buy a cable box to watch TV. But uh, I don't know. I I don't know what compelled me to. I don't remember what compelled me to try out Tetris, especially for this is a 20 minute run. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to ramble for 20 minutes on end. But. Uh, yeah, I had this footage sitting around a disc, then, you know, I think that's all the only time I had f footage of Tetris, like, for the record, I don't know how many versions of Tetris that I've played, and, like, I've got several versions, I've got, top of my mind, I'm really out of catch, <sighs> excuse me, no, I'm really, really, really tired. Really, really tired, so uh, I'm gonna be yawning a couple times. I'm gonna be droning, dozing off a couple at a couple times here, but uh, I just want to get this thing. <laughs> just want to get this thing done and uh, move on to the other stuff, I guess. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, I don't know. Like, like I saw they had a version of Tetris here. I don't. I guess I was kind of curious to see how this thing played on the cable box uh plays about as well as you expect like i said before the controls are kind of stiff you know when it comes to uh, moving uh, pieces it's probably not the best version of tetris you'll ever play but you know as it as it you know as something of a quick bonus you know it's all right it's not something you're gonna it's not gonna be a, a preferred choice of tetris to, in anybody's list but it does what it's supposed to fairly well. It's a nice little diversion, you know. If your cable box fucks up and doesn't wa doesn't show t you know doesn't you can't watch TV on the thing, it's a nice little Tetris box. But again, you have various different versions of Tetris out there in various formats. You're not gonna waste. You're not gonna play the game on a damn cable box. But somehow I'm still, I, I, I'm doing, like, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm not a, I wouldn't call myself the greatest Tetris player ever, because that'd be kind of stupid. I'm, like, I, I do well enough, I guess, to consider myself competent, I guess. I'm like, like, sometimes I'll have a really good game going, other times I'll have a shit game. But, uh, yeah, I seem to be doing all right here. God damn, tired. Fuck me. And you know what? The silence. Uh, you know what? I think the silence might have something to do with my getting tired here. Let's play a little bit of music here. Give me a second here. Hmm. There you go. That's more like it. Maybe that'll work. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfectly Tetris sounding music. 
perfect for Tetris, I suppose. Yeah. Are we having fun yet, boys and girls? <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> Yep, dance of the sugar plum fairies, the nutcracker suite. They actually used that in the Nintendo version of Tetris on NES. Strangely, they didn't use it for the 16-bit version when they brought it over to Super Nintendo. They just replaced it with the Game Boy tracks. It's a bit of a shame, but... What are you going to do? Hmm. This is riveting stuff here. You know what the... Th <laughs> I, I just had a thought in mind. Probably probably telling myself, why the fuck did you play... Why why did you do that? You may, you may yet salvage this. Alright. Let me see that. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, though, because of the uh, the clunkiness and the uh, the stiffness of the controls. Because I wanted to felt fit that reverse L piece into that little slot, but it locked in place. And uh, the controls themselves are no help either. So I ended up, you know, having a little hole, you know, where I didn't want my little hole to be, but I got a little hole. Well, fuck your little holes, for all I care, that sort of thing. Alright, now. We're putting that L block there. Yes, we are. Okay, fine. In hindsight, I would have put the L block, you know, the green L block on the right and the reverse L block on the left, I would have gotten a line. And uh, two spots filled, but no, wait, I didn't. Couldn't do that. No, no. I had to. I had to do you know, that kind of stupidity. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I look at my. I. I hate looking my. Looking. I hate looking at my old playthroughs. Sometimes. You know, especially in in long term doses because. I just look. I just look at some of. I just look at some of this gameplay and I, I just realize some of the stupid mistakes. Like, there's some moments where I would say, hey, that's a good move. Why, why not? <laughs> I, it's a good move. I forgot. I completely forgot I did that. And then sometimes I do stupid moves and I'm wondering why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? But no. <laughs> there we go. So I think we're, we're we're back on track here, right? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So, notice the music has taken a turn for the worse, I guess. It's a lot darker and stuff. And oh, so, so lucky that we got that 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 thing there. So, anyways, we're we going for the obvious move. Yeah. All right. So, seem to be doing all right. Some of you folks are probably wondering, um, well, maybe not. Usually what I try to do is I usually leave the left, the furthest row, I leave one row on the side absolutely clear so I could like stack up and then when I get the one line piece coming in, I could bring it down, slam it for a couple Tetrises, you know, four lines at a time. But I think at this point, I'm just sort of like, you know, I'm not getting anything out of these clunky controls. So I'm not even going to bother. And, uh, yeah, well, what are you going to do, huh? Come on, move it. Move, 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 move. There you go. That's a good boy. There you go. Hindsight, I probably should have left that square block on top, but, uh... Whatever. No damage done. Yet.
Yep, double line. I would have stacked it to the side, but no one. See, I don't know. I, I don't get what the point of that is. Again, you know that that yellow reverse L. I would have slotted it on the side. Oh, now you, yeah. <laughs> I was lucky. I was lucky because if it, if I I didn't get that block, I would have been. God damn it. Yeah. So uh, that's cable box Tetris. It brings out the worst in people. I, I, I guess, I don't know. So now we're gonna, no, yeah, yeah, okay. So now this is where I start stacking pieces and hopefully the stars will align and I will have uh, four, I'll fill all my, I'll fill like the innards and and, and, and why, why the fuck did you not go, what the fuck is, oh, god damn it. Like I know the controls are stiff, but you could have made that, God damn it. Well, I thought the music was gonna help uh, keep me awake, but I guess not. Jesus. Cable box Tetris. I no longer have the uh, this cable box in particular anymore. Since it didn't do television, I don't I don't know what happened to that cable box actually. Lost to the annals of time, I suppose. Come on, move it to the. Little... Come on, there you go, good boy. Move that down. Yeah, so you know, it's, you know, it's sort of, it slightly increased its speed, and now what are you gonna do? Now what are you gonna do? You fucking. There, okay, well, okay, you kind of, kind of lucky there, I guess, I suppose. Hmm, what are we gonna do here? Oh, lucky shot. <laughs> You'd think I'd learn, but no. You can't. <laughs> you, you would think that I'd learn something from that. You know, after having, you know, a couple pieces stuck that way. No. Jesus Christ. Very exciting. Shit. How many tea left? <sighs> oh, yeah. I don't know what's more amazing, the fact that this is st this game's still going, or I'm st I've st I'm still playing. Well, since I'm still playing, or I'm the fact that I'm st that I was still playing this, cause uh, how much do I got? How much time I got left? I got a couple minutes worth of gameplay left. Cable box. Wasn't fast enough to reach the, 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 the wall. Fuck. Yeah, I fucked that up royally. Royally fucked that one up. For fuck's sake. Cable Box Tetris has the worst controls ever. Controls are kind of stiff. Ew. You only have the basic functions, and holy shit, I might actually get a Tetris after all. Come on, you could do it. There you go. That's, that, that was beautiful. I would have moved that piece to the side, but um, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Anyways, Cable Box Tetris has pretty stiff controls. It doesn't work all that great. The graphics are fairly basic, rudimentary stuff. There's no sound. Overall, 
I wouldn't go for this version of Tetris. There is no reason for you. If your cable box or satellite receiver or whatever internet TV thing has a version of Tetris on it, I recommend that you do not play it. There are different versions of Tetris that you could be playing. And what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> What, what is wrong with you? Oh, fuck me, I'm tired. I gotta go to bed. I'm losing my mind. When is this shit gonna end? Oh. Thank God. And so that was what little footage I have of Cable Box Tetris. I, I, I sincerely hope you people endured that. I'm not even going to say enjoy. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say hope you endured the entirety. And that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Take care and good night. Fuck me, I gotta go to bed. Jesus Christ. Oh, freak. Yeah, I'm done.